Yo, Christmas season is in full effect. And one of my favorite things to do during the holiday season is to wear an ugly Christmas sweater. So today we're going to talk about the top five rules that you should know when it comes to wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. So with that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and let me know you're rocking with the team. You dig. Now, today we're talking about the top five rules that you should know when it comes to wearing an ugly Christmas sweater for the holiday season. Let's not even waste no time. I want to get straight into it. Let's go. Rule number one, you need to have an old school knitted sweater. That old school style actually brings out the old school type of meaning to an ugly Christmas sweater. Not to get it confused with that crew neck sweater that everybody wears from like Nike, Adidas, or go online and they find this thick crew neck cotton sweater. The one that have that old school pop culture type of sweater where it has like something like vanilla ice on the front and it say ice ice baby on it. Or it have something like Mike Tyson on the front and it say Merry Christmas. No, you don't need that type of sweater. I'm talking about an old school fashion thick type of sweater and it have that knitted type of fabric. That's the one that you need and if you want to you can have any type of graphics on there Just as long as it's Christmas inspired snowflakes Rudolph Santa on there Maybe if you have some funny cartoon characters with a snow hat on or something like that That's cool and everything but it has to be the right type of fabric the right type of material and the right type of stitching Rule number two is to stop overdoing it do not do the most the most that you should be spending between on an ugly christmas sweater is 50 60 dollars at max and that's if you find something funny or you just want to be original and stand out a little bit now if you go to an ugly christmas sweater party and you come in here with a high-end designer sweater nobody cares about your three to five hundred dollar sweater fam nobody but you now you here at this ugly christmas sweater party and everybody done bought a sweater that's probably like 20 to 50 to 60 dollars at max and you the only person and that's in the crowd that's wearing a three to five hundred dollar sweater good job man you've made yourself the ass of the joke the idea is for you to actually come out there and have some fun drop your ego drink make some jokes and have some fun get you an ugly christmas sweater dog and it shouldn't even cost you that much save some money you already gotta buy some gifts right don't do the most rule number three do not over accessorize now i know wearing accessories is meant for you to stand out and everything like that to set yourself apart from everybody else that's fun but you do not need to over accessorize so you don't need multiple rings on your fingers four or five, six different chains, a big hat, a crossbody bag, a vest, and some dope sneakers. Even though all those things can be dope and inspiring and fashion forward, it's taken away from the idea of what the ugly Christmas sweater is for. You're supposed to bring the attention to the sweater and have everything else have some fun with. Now you can have some dope sneakers or you can have a nice hat or whatsoever, but just remember, you want to have the ugly Christmas sweater because you want to bring attention to the sweater that you have bought. Don't over accessorize. Rule number four. Now you can repeat, two peat, three peat, wear it however many times that you want to. You can actually recycle the sweater however many times that you want to. It's only a few weeks in the month of December and I doubt that you actually go to that many Christmas parties. You probably go to one, two at max. So if you are gonna wear an ugly Christmas sweater and you wanna repeat it, wear it again. Just wear it in a different way. If you wore blue jeans, wear black jeans. If you wore red sneakers, wear blue. If you wore a hat, don't wear hats. If you had accessories, don't wear accessories. Mix it up a little bit and you'll look like you had a new fit at this new Christmas party that you're about to go to. Simple as that. Rule number five, if you want to, you don't have to wear that full sweater. If you want to, you can actually wear a cardigan with this. As long as it's Christmas theme and Christmas inspired, you'll be on point. The Christmas sweater will still be in full effect simply because it has that stitch and that knitting type of fabric and that knitting type of material. So it'll give that Christmas presentation off. So you'll still be good at that Christmas party. Now, if you want to, you can wear a turtleneck or you can wear a simple shirt up under it. But at the same time, if you do have something like a cardigan, I would recommend that you wear a turtleneck and if you do have like the full sweater on I would recommend that you wear something like a t-shirt or a tank top something that's not too heavy up under there because you're already going to be hot as is but at the same time if you want to go ahead by all means you can wear a turtleneck with that too 
All right, y'all, I just broke down five rules that you should know when it comes to picking out a Christmas sweater and wearing one and being festive for this holiday season. Now, I hope that prepared y'all for the holiday season. Stay tuned on my IG because I'm going to show y'all how I style up with my ugly Christmas sweater, and I'm going to have some fun this year. With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great Christmas holiday. I hope y'all have some fun, and I'm going to catch up with y'all in 2023, man. We're getting close to the time. Y'all already know the vibes, man. I'll catch up with y'all. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.